Hey, welcome everyone. I'm really excited and I'm gonna tell you why. So I've had this Spotify tutorial, the same as the one I'm making right now, and it ranked on rank 1 on YouTube for a pretty long time, but I've been getting some negative comments because people say that it doesn't work anymore, and I checked it, and indeed, Spotify changed the API, and for the method I was using, you had to link your Spotify to a tool, and that tool was using the Spotify API. So that doesn't work anymore. I've tried to contact the creator of the tool to ask if there's another way to do it or something we can work on, but he didn't answer. So I've got to make another video and this is the video. And there are a lot of videos on YouTube that show you how to window capture Spotify and then cut out only the title and the thumbnail. And while that works, but it looks like something that's made in the 90s, mainly because of the rectangles. The background is a perfect rectangle, the thumbnail is a perfect square, and that just doesn't look good. So I came up with a solution. I made some graphics in Photoshop. So this is one of the graphics. I'm actually going to my document. So right here, this is the first graphic. This will be the background. So you see right here I added some corner radius and then this image is to overlay on top of the album cover to make sure that it also has some corner radius. So let's start setting it up. First of all you will need to download these two images. I will probably add them to my Gumroad or to Google Drive, not sure yet, probably Gumroad. So click the Gumroad link in the description, download the two graphics and then once you got those two graphics let's launch Spotify and make sure you make it as low as possible. So this is the lowest I can go this is good and then make sure it's not like this you want to make it pretty wide so the title can be at full width and then you have to look for a song that has a long title so if you search for acdc and then you open this is acdc then you will see here a song it's a long way blah 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 okay so you press play then you pause it so it stays on the screen and then you see that Spotify caps the length right here. So that's what we need. And then let's go to OBS Studio. So I've already loaded some background right here and then we will click on the plus icon and add a window capture. Okay, call it Spotify, click on OK. And then right here in this drop down, you need to look for Spotify.x and there are a few sources, but choose the right one, mine is Spotify free because the title will, yeah, the title is Spotify free. If you have premium, it will be something else. Click on OK, and then here we have the capture. Now hold the Alt key on your keyboard and drag the top bar to the bottom till it's about here. It doesn't have to be perfect yet. Then keep holding in the Alt key and drag the right bar right here to this position. Okay, then let's make it bigger without holding any modifiers, just dragging it out. Okay, let's make it very big. And right now we're gonna make it shorter like this. So you see it cuts off right here. So that's the maximum width we're gonna use. So something like this. Then you wanna take the top bar and you wanna drag it down some more. It doesn't have to be perfect because we will be using a gray background that's in the exact same type of gray. Okay, so make it like this, that's perfect. So the other videos on YouTube are showing you how to do this. You can use this, I mean, if you like this blocky way, you can just add it to the top and then it will work. But I'm going to add the other graphics right now. So let's make it very big so we can work pixel perfect. And then click on the plus icon, okay, go to image and then add a new image, let's call it background. Click on okay, click on browse and then browse for the background right here. Okay, click on okay and then scale it till it's about as big as this image and then make sure you move it below the Spotify source in your sources and then you want to try a bit to see what looks good. If you want to change the ratio you can hold shift in and then you can just drag it like this so you can make it perfect on the top, on the bottom and on the left. Okay, let's test a bit like this for example or maybe a bit smaller because that's more how do you say it? Modern, more clean, I don't know. This looks great. Okay, so we make it like this and then we want to add our other graphics. So click on the plus icon, click on image and then call it... How do I want to call it? Let's call it overlay. Okay, click on browse and then right here choose Spotify 2. Click on OK, click on OK, then move it to here. And now you want to make sure that this fits and you will have to try a bit. 
Okay, so this looks about right, but I see that we still have some trouble. So we will go to the next step and then return to this. So the next step is selecting overlay, holding shift, selecting background, right clicking, and then group selected items. Okay, and let's call it Spotify overlay. Okay, so now we have a group. So when we click on this folder, we can, you see, we can drag everything together. So we can make it even bigger to make this pixel perfect. So now let's click on the overlay right here in the folder and then we can make it perfect right now. So this looks great. Don't mind the darker gray borders. That's because of the scaling, etc. When you scale it down, you will not see that anymore. So now click on this Spotify overlay group and then just drag it without holding any modifiers, just dragging. Oops, again, man, this keeps happening. Okay. <laughs> okay, make sure you select the group and then just scale it way down like this and then just position it somewhere and that will work. So right now, another important thing, you cannot minimize Spotify. So let's go to Spotify right now, you see, I will play this song, right? I will move it to the end, so a few seconds before the end. And then I will minimize it and you will see that when the song changes, it will not change right here on screen. On my PC, on my Spotify, the song has already changed. You see, when I open Spotify, this will update. Okay, see, <laughs> it's a commercial, but you see that it updated later, okay? So just don't close Spotify, keep it like this and then just open your game. You will probably not see this, but Overwatch is open now. But I just didn't minimize Spotify. When I alt tap right now, I will go to Spotify immediately. Keep it open on the foreground and everything will work fine. And since this is a video about Spotify, about stream audio, there are two things I have to tell you. First thing, stream beats. It's great music, it's from Harris Heller. I know this is free promotion, but it's just so good. So go to Spotify and search for stream beats. You see right here, it already appears. This is all completely free. I will make this bigger for a bit, but you see when you scale Spotify, this doesn't work anymore. So always scale it down and then it will just work. But now to show you, I will make it a bit bigger. This is all copyright free, royalty free, <laughs> however you want to call it. This is all completely free music. You do not have to give him credit for anything. You can just use this on your stream, use this in your YouTube videos. It's all free. It's great music. I mean, if you stream, just press play, minimize it like this and bam, this music playlist is amazing. Make sure you check it out. The second thing I want to tell you is that some people want to mute Spotify or their music for themselves and make sure that their stream can hear the music, but they don't so they can concentrate on their game. And that's actually pretty easy. There are two main ways to do it. The first one is the quickest, but it won't work for some people. So for those, I will explain the second way. But the first way is right clicking on your audio icon and going to open sound settings. Scroll to the bottom and click on this app volume and device preferences. And right here you can route programs that are producing sound at the moment to other audio ports. So this is the output column. So next to Spotify, click on this default drop down and then change this to an audio port that you're not using. For me, Realtek Digital Output, this is something that I'm not using. There is no audio that's going to that port and that port is not being imported or used in any program. So it's just a silent port. So I will send my Spotify to here. You will probably have other ports right here and you need to use your common sense to find one that isn't being used. So once you found that, you send your Spotify to that port, then you go to Streamlabs OBS, go to the settings, to the audio tab, and as your desktop audio through, you add that port that you chose. So for me, Realtek Digital Output, it was already selected. I click on OK and right here, music, I already renamed it also. You see that it's playing right now. When I pause Spotify, you will see that this just stops. So this is only Spotify. But right now, you cannot hear your music, but maybe you want to control if the sound is right. So then you just click on the settings icon right here and you go to advanced audio properties. And then next to the music source or the desktop audio through source, it will be for you. You see here monitor off. If you take the second option, then you will hear your music. When I select monitor off, then my stream will hear my music and I will not. 
Now for the people that cannot find another audio device in their Windows sound settings, so right here I will go to there again. So people that don't have an audio port that's not being used, there is an alternative. I will go to Google Chrome and I will search for virtual cable. Okay, so then the first one, virtual audio cable, you download this right here and then you have to unzip this. Do not install it from the zip folder because it will not work. So unzip it, I already did in my documents. So right here, virtual cable, and then you just launch this setup right here. You run it as administrator, you click yes, you install the program, and then nothing will happen. It's just a virtual cable that's installed on your PC. So then once that's done, you go back to your sound settings and instead of using an audio port that's not being used, you can just select cable input. So you click on that, you send Spotify to the input of this cable and then in OBS Studio, you go to the settings, to audio. So for your Spotify, you just add another mic auxiliary and you select cable output. And that works the same way. You just click on OK and then you see right here Mic Auxiliary 3. So that's the cable output. This will be Spotify. So then you can also just go to the advanced settings and then next to Mic Auxiliary 3 is what we are using right now. You can also change the monitor options. So there you go. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. Like the video to help me rank higher and go to this video if you want full control over your audio settings. I will see you next time.